Well, good evening. <clears throat> this is Visit Mima in Arkansas. And I'm all bundled up here, crocheting, as you can tell on this sunshine uh, sunflower afghan. I think it's coming along real good. I've been in the hospital about, oh, uh, I won't say how long, but long enough to, you know, have surgery and then I'm recuperating because that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. I'm feeling good. I'm glad the operation's over. I didn't know I had a problem, but they fixed it. <laughs> and uh, I'm sure y'all been through surprise surgeries. But I just done a video uh, for YouTube, and within a couple hours, I had this attack. I hurt so bad. My gut hurt so bad. And uh, after a day and a half, finally, uh, they decided that they'd do surgery. So Sunday night, they did surgery, and I'm happy have that. And I'm home, as you can tell. A little weak, but uh, I'm good and glad to be home. A lot of people in the hospital are sick. Poor nurses, they're having to battle against all kinds of empty supplies and people not working, nurses out with the COVID. It's just, I was, first I got a little angry when I went to the hospital because it seemed so shorthanded. And I, of course, I was hurting and I wanted to get some help, but they just, they were doing the best they could. And one morning I woke up and they had put me in a room. That's before they had decided what was going on. And the little nurse tried to help me, but there's only two nurses on the floor, an RN and a CNA. And bless her heart, she was trying to help me, and I was giving her a hard time. You know, I shouldn't have done that. I really shouldn't have done that. She did the best she could with what she had. And there was 42 people on that floor. I don't know how those two took care of them for, for the morning. They finally got some people in uh, but halfway through the day. But it's just a different world out there because of this COVID. Everything's so different. But I guess that's the way things are going to be for a while. I don't know if the COVID will ever get over with. Or if it's something we've just got to live with knowing about. And assuming that it's not through yet with us here in the world but i'm good i'm good I'm glad to be home so glad to be home my puppies are doing good and i was glad about that <laughs> you know they they're but without me what would they do <laughs> oh well that's enough about that i guess <clears throat> I hadn't heard any good news. I did try to read a book while I was uh, resting the other day. And uh, it's called Buried in a Book. I just started it. It's a pretty good read. It's from the, you know, Live, Live and Library. But it's all good. And I'll be getting some new books soon because I think, I think that's the last one I have that they delivered to me. Uh, but I didn't do any book reviews on any of them. Uh, but, but they don't pick them up till next week, so I might go by and do short reviews on all of them because uh, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what I do. And I appreciate all y'all out there. I really do. I don't know quite what to do that, but so I just continue on doing nothing really. I'm doing me. I guess that's what it is. I'm. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. I think that's what it all means. Be your own kind of beautiful. Is that what you do? I think I do too, if I don't know it. But Yeah, it's been chilly, but nothing too bad. I've been on a liquid diet, so I used my um, Nutribullet. And um, got me some, a uh, couple ice cubes and a little bit of non-fat milk and flavoring and I whipped up a little, I, I don't know, I don't know what it is, it's a smoothie, an icy, a, it's more like just grated uh, ice, you know. <clears throat> and then I had some um, romaine noodles, you know, they're just good for about anything. And it was easy to cook and I used my percolator. 
my coffee percolator to uh, get it nice and warm. And it sure worked well with the uh, romaine noodles. Today, uh, occupational therapy came and put the new chair in my bathroom, in my shower. So soon I'll be taking a shower, settling myself into a, being a really clean girl. <laughs> Mama used to say, keep your tutu clean. <laughs> be doing that a day or so got to be up to it now that I've got a chair in there it makes it nice they said they were going to get me a sprayer hand sprayer to put in there but we'll see if that comes off comes up you know actually happens actually happens I hope everybody's feeling better. I, I noticed some of the comments y'all had been sick on your YouTubes. So, and uh, <clears throat> I think it's a pass, hopefully it's a passing thing that everybody feels better. I don't think we have bad weather coming in. I haven't seen any weather in a week. It's only 40, well it's 40 degrees here and it's, uh, I think it's Friday night. I think, yes, I think it's Friday night. Well, I'm just sitting crocheting, listening to the puppy snore. I'll be going to bed early, I think. I don't know how large I'm going to make this, but I'm just continue on. Because i got lots of yarn. You know, I talked to you about maybe making two of them. But I don't know what I'm going to do with them after I finish. Oh. But anyway, I'll continue crocheting. Because, you know, in the spring, it's going to be time to take the flowers outside. Heard a guy talking today, and he was trying to get all the words to all the songs we used to hear when we were kids. Like the one-eyed, one-horned, blind, purple people eater. I don't know if y'all remember that song, but we had, and there was another song called Poison Ivy. I mean, we thought these were really cool songs. Oh gosh, I guess it was 13 or something. Then we had, uh, oh my. Mashed Potato was a song, believe it or not. Nana, Nana, Thofana, Eva, Fifa, Five, shoot. Nana, Bana, Fo, Bango. <laughs> I don't remember how it goes. But anyway, uh, I'll try to get some of those because it was really funny. And I was thinking that, you know, we we're so smart because those words were very non. <laughs> This music is what was good about the songs. The, the actual words didn't mean anything, you know, just to repeat themes and stuff. I love the Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy, Poison Ivy. Oh, I can't remember how it goes. I'll have to look up some of the, uh, the words. But the, there were some good <laughs> Oh, that's why I guess us pop baby boomers are so full of it. <laughs> We're full of everything. <laughs> yeah, those are crazy songs. But we danced and, you know, actually had sock hops and stuff like that. I don't think kids do any of that anymore. They may, but I really don't know. But we did. Dances and drove through the town and drive through Burger King or... Was it Burger King? What was the name of that? Sonic? Uh, no, I can't remember the name of it in our small town. We drove it, called it the, dra I think it was Drag Main Street or something. But it was really different kind of world. Different kind of world. 
It's funny now I'm recycling. I've got a bag over there full of uh, cans, dog food cans that I wash out and recycle the cans, you know, and, and milk cartons and boxes. You know, really, I don't have much trash. Most of my stuff is recycled. Of course, we don't recycle glass. Uh, but there's a lot of plastics. You don't have that little emblem on it. Uh, do y'all recycle where you live? The town is really big into that here. I have my own little recycle bin that they'll pick up every other week. And most of the time it's pretty full because I order most of my stuff in. You know, because I'm, I'm a, what they call a shut-in. Somebody doesn't get out of their house or go anywhere. Um... Uh, Occasionally I do, but I don't drive, and so I have to, uh, well, anyway, that's enough about that. But, my, you know, I have a lot of uh, boxes and things like that to do, to, you know, to recycle. Do y'all live in town that recycles, or you live in apartments? How do apartments work, you know, like high-rises? I've never lived in a high-rise. I looked at one, uh, you know. To see if I would like it, but I didn't know if I would. I mean, where do you put your trash? How, I mean, how do you get down? I mean, of course they have elevators and things, but I guess it functions just like anywhere that Walmart would order my, you know, deliver my food, and the drugstore order deliver their medicines to me. So I guess it really wouldn't be different. It would just be in a high rise. The one I looked at had a little balcony on it, and I, I did consider that because it's got a great view of the city. I thought, wouldn't it be nice just to sit outside and look over the city in the mornings, have coffee, and uh, just sit out there and read, or just be outside, you know, be able to get out of the apartment for a minute. Some people really love that because there's no nothing to worry about, you know. It's like living here. I don't have to worry about anything. I can arrange for almost everything to be done that I need. watching a crocheter today and I never can pronounce her name but she's I think Argent from Argentina. I've been following her for quite some time. Uh, she may be on my list of followers you know, where you can follow her. Um, but today she was taking uh, CDs you know like you can't have for music and you take two of them turn them in so they're silver on each side you glue them together and then you crochet around them, you know, where you can see through the crochet openings. And where you see the openings is that silver reflective CD. And she's made them into like hanging wind uh, mandalas by crocheting with the different colors of yarn. And then she's got some that hangs, she's crocheted some chain nets, net chains down the bottom and put uh, reflectors, you know, stars or something like that on it. Very, very pretty. And I was thinking, I may, to, may have to make some of those because it looks like it would be real easy and a lot of fun and colorful, you know, you change a lot of colors and things. And then I thought, who would use them? I mean, do I just make them and set them on the shelf? <laughs> you know, I, one thing about me, I can make things. That's not a problem. It's just, what do you do with them? I know some people have some Etsy. Uh, but I don't know that I could keep up with anything like that. You know. But anyway, I'm sure if I did them, just like the bonnets. I made so many bonnets, you know. And uh, knit hats and... They all went away, you know. They went to folks that needed one or donated them to the newborn clinic there in Baptist in Little Rock. And I guess there's some other places, you know, that could donate. 
And of course, you can always take things to goodwill. You know, they're going to sell it. <laughs> but I just keep busy. Keep busy crocheting. And that's what, if you like crocheting or having coffee or tea or just chatting. I miss chatting today. The only ones I had here today were the, the occupational therapist. I've already told you that. I don't know why I mentioned that again. But tomorrow will be a better day. I won't be as tired. And uh, <laughs> enjoy my little video I put up today. Uh, I made that before it got sick. And it's me cleaning my little apartment. It was a good day. I was really feeling good that day. And, and uh, was happy that I was able to do all of that. Very, very happy. So anyway, I'm going to let you go for the evening. I've talked long enough, probably too long, but I did want to say hi, and I miss you guys, and uh, keep crocheting and reading and being happy. Whatever you do, keep going on. <laughs> Remember, God has you in his hands, and pray for Mother Earth. Bye-bye.